It's thought more than 450 million across the globe suffer from mental illnesses. But do we really understand how to help them? Today is World Mental Health Day, an annual initiative which this year is highlighting psychological first aid and mobilising efforts to assist those in distress. Schizophrenia, depression, epilepsy, dementia, alcohol dependence and other mental disorders make up 13% of the global disease burden. By 2030, depression will be the second highest cause of disease burden in middle-income countries. In the last 45 years, suicide rates have increased by 60% worldwide. More than 90% of people who kill themselves have a diagnosable mental disorder. Well, joining me now to talk more about this is mindfulness expert Emma Fairclough and live from Liverpool, Sean Patrick, who is positive psychologist and qualified mental first aider. Thank you both for joining us here on the program. Emma, I'll come to you first. I mean, mental health, it, it really has become an issue that we're talking about more openly now, aren't we? Yeah, it has. And um, I guess when I was very young and, you know, kind of 30 years ago, my mum had mental health issues in the sense that she was a workaholic. and. She worked days and nights, and it was there was a lot of stigma around it then, and people were not discussing it as they're starting to these days. Um, so it was very, very difficult um, to get the help that, that's around today, really. And and the fact that a, a day like this exists is just you know it's just kind of testament to to the awareness that's becoming uh, more and more sort of prevalent. Um, sure, I mean it's it's quite distressing to know that uh, suicide rates have gone up. Uh, by 60% and, and a lot of those are, are, are young men. Um, you've got a book coming out uh, about this very issue, don't you? Absolutely, yeah. My book actually came out in paperback today and it's called That Guy Who Loves the Universe because I very much was one of them men when I look back into my early 20s staring down a great array of uncertainties and feeling that sense of anxiety and depression that I can completely understand and relate that why so many people, especially of this general generation, are suffering with such immense levels of anxiety. What does psychological first aid mean then? Well, for me, it means very much not just about aiding um, mental health issues, but also cultivating a sense of peace and mindfulness and well-being in your life. There's so much we can do, which is really going to be about, you know, taking sense of what gives you meaning in your life. Um, committing to something you're good at, taking time for yourself, taking time out, sometimes turning off your social media. And for me, um, psychological first aid is really about the cultivating of peace. Because when we get to a level where, you know, we're, we're feeling depressed, we're feeling anxious, it's because there's something's gone wrong. Oh, this is clearly very personal for both of you. Mm -hmm. uh, but Emma, just tell me, I mean, why is there such a stigma around this? We are talking about it a lot mm. more, but there's still a stigma around it. Mm. I think it, um, I hate to say it, but it's almost, there's, in society, there's this feeling that we need to achieve and that, but it's also come from our parents as well. So it's, it's fed through us, through the generations, and, and it still hasn't changed that we, we feel we need to achieve, we feel we need to be um, more than we are, and, and it comes across as a weakness when we, when we say, actually, I'm not feeling great in myself, and, and it's not something that I can put a plaster on, and I, I'm not walking around you know, with crutches, but I'm still sick, and I'm still ill, and I still can't work because of it. You know? So it really is, um, I think there's an expectation as well out there, unfortunately. Um, and you're judged, really, by, by what you do. I mean, uh, you know, as a child, I, I, I mean, all of us wouldn't mm. have been told the basis is to be happy. It's about no. what you want to be when yeah. you grow up. Yeah, and that is the beautiful thing about what's starting to happen with, with this today. But it, it's, it's so crucial because it's still so prevalent. And we, you've mentioned the figure of 450 million people. I mean, that is so huge. And it's important that we you know, with this psychological first aid kit that um, Sean was talking about, it's the, the mindfulness approach is acceptance. You know, for, for me, that's the most important thing, is that we accept that it's okay to not be okay, mm. you know? And Sean, you talk about uh, Gen Y and, and sort of their reaction to it. I mean, given so many young people now are digitally connected, everything mm -hmm. that you do on a daily basis is documented. So sometimes a lot of people will look at things like Instagram and judge people's lives based on that. 
Oh my gosh, absolutely. And I think that's such a prevalent cause for why Gen Y are feeling so anxious. You only have to be on your phone, scroll down, and it's a constant reminder of not enough, not good enough, not doing enough. And it, it can drive you absolutely crazy, literally. And I couldn't agree with what Emma said more about it's about accepting but accepting the fact that we've got this mind which is going to run away with itself sometimes it's going to have some crazy thoughts and take us to some dark places but to be secure in the fact that we are enough and we have achieved enough and we're doing enough well just tell me then Sean why is this day so important Oh my gosh, today is so important because we're talking about ending stigma here. I couldn't agree with what Emma said more. We have to live in a society where it's okay to call up work and say, I'm not going to be in today because I'm not feeling too well. Not because I've got a cold, not because I've broken my leg, but because, you know, my mind is not well today. And that has to begin to be, get accepted the same way it is to call up work and say, I'm sick today, I've got a cold. So days like today raise awareness, they end stigma. I'm so thrilled to see so many celebrities putting their voice behind a day like today, and I just can only imagine imagine and know and hope that days like today are going to continue to end stigma around mental health. Well, let's hope. Uh, Sean, mm -hmm. Emma, thank you both for joining us. Thank, thank you. you.